All right, hey, human fizz, this is Mr. Yago talking you through section 10.3 on the accessory organs. Up to this point, uh, we have taken a look at the structure and function of the digestive system, and uh, from there we journeyed from the mouth all the way down to the stomach. And now we're going to look at some of the accessory organs that play a role um, outside of this alimentary canal, so to speak. Um, if you notice in this picture down here, this is a pancreas in yellow. And uh, it, the food would not move through it. This is part of the small intestine. So the pancreas is considered an accessory structure because it is outside of this canal and it will secrete things into the small intestine. Um, and these are called pancreatic juices, which I have up here. And their responsibility is basically to digest fats break down nucleic acids and nucleotides. That's its two major roles. So um, once food leaves the stomach, which would be up here somewhere, it's going to move down into the small intestine. And uh, that's where the pancreas is going to start breaking down those fats. So it'll secrete its juices in the small intestine and break it down. So there actually are parts of the small intestine where we still go through the process of digestion and then, as we move further through this process, we'll talk about how we then get absorption of nutrients. All right, another major accessory organ in the body is called the gallbladder. Now, the gallbladder sits directly underneath the liver. You can imagine the liver is this big organ right here. And the gallbladder is this little guy that sits underneath it. Now, a gallbladder is something that you can live without. A lot of people have their gallbladders removed, um, but it also aids in fat digestion and storage of something called bile. All right, bile is going to be help responsible or is be responsible for breaking down fat. So the pancreas and the gallbladder essentially work together and do lots of the same things. But uh, you'll notice here that the gallbladder secretes something down the common bile duct, and that'll go directly into the small intestine. So these organs work hand in hand. Their goal is digestion. There's absolutely no absorption involved in this process. So a lot of times when foods make it down to the stomach, we talked about already how we have something called pepsin, which is going to break down the proteins. In the small intestine here, the pancreas and the gallbladder are responsible for breaking down fats. Okay? So that is the gallbladder. Here's a look at uh, bile. Bile is, is kind of a yellowish green liquid. Um, some of you have, may have experienced an encounter with bile. If you've ever gotten really, really sick, vomiting sick, and you have emptied pretty much all the uh, contents of your stomach, and you'll notice that some bile will actually be um, creeping up out of your uh, your esophagus. Now, it does aid in digestion and it breaks down fats. It's something that we call an emulsifier. Another example of an emulsifier would be dish soap. Dish soap is an emulsifier. Actually, you can break down fat with dish soap. Hence why when you have a buildup on dishes, you know, we use dish soap and that will emulsify and help break down and remove that off of dishes. So, um, this emulsific emulsification is just breaking things down and that's what bio basically consists of. Um, so, it does have an acidity to it. That's why if you ever get it in the stomach um, and it goes up the throat, unfortunately when you're throwing up or something like that, you will get some bile. It will be some yellowish color and it will probably have a little bit of stomach acid in it as well. So that is essentially an understanding of what bile is. And again, the gallbladder secretes it, so does the pancreas. All right, next up is the liver. Uh, very, very large organ. As you can see where it sits in the body, it sits uh, inferior to the lungs and superior to the uh intestines and uh, functions. Lots of things that the liver does. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time going through these processes with you. But uh, it's going to maintain normal concentrations of blood glucose, which is very, very important, uh, especially for those who have diabetes or know if someone has diabetes. Um, if you've ever understood what low or high blood sugar which is glucose, can do to the body, it can be very dangerous. Very low blood sugar can actually cause seizures, um, and that's not anything to be messing with. Seizures are very harmful um, if they are not addressed and can cause some pretty significant brain damage. So by your body maintaining your normal concentrations of blood glucose, it is a, it is a very important job. Um, a lot of times the liver is described as something that basically is responsible for breaking down alcohol. It does do that, and it does that in, in a great extent. 
but uh, it has a lot of other things that are equally important. It's also going to help breakdown of lipids and fats um, and protein metabolism. That's a big one as well. So any proteins that get into our body, we know that we use proteins for everything. It's a major component of all of our cellular units, um, our muscles. So metabolism of proteins is, is very is essential. Here's a biggie. One of the big things the liver does, it'll actually store iron and vitamins. Okay, a lot of what the liver does is is to go through the blood, and that's why it brings me up to my my next couple of points here. But uh, when we take in food, and when we take a vitamin, that gets broken down and absorbed in the bloodstream, and the bloodstream is going to essentially go through all of our vessels, which we just discussed. But it's going to run it through the liver, and that's going to destroy damaged red blood cells and remove toxic substances from the blood, and it's also going to store those iron and vitamins that you have absorbed from your food or from a vitamin. And finally, it also secretes bile, which would be the reason why we break down lipids and fats. So the liver does a lot of things in the body, a lot of things that you probably didn't realize. All right, I just realized I got a slide from 10.4 in here, but that's okay. We'll just start it on this video and continue it on the next. So this is the next section. Um, and essentially, our goal is to look at the final passageway of food through the body. And uh, I'm just going to briefly introduce the small and large intestine, and then on obviously on 10.4, I'll go into much greater detail. Um, the small and large intestine are both what we consider tubular organs, and they extend from the pyloric sphincter, which, if you remember, uh, originated in the bottom of the stomach, has many loops and coils. It's going to fill a majority of your abdominal cavity. And again, that's just to increase surface area. That's our always our biggest, biggest thing. Um, if you can imagine that every section of this intestine um, has the ability to absorb nutrients, if it was really, really short, what benefit does that have? Think about comparing the nutrients you absorb in a foot versus nine feet. Okay. So, not only is it going to absorb and carry nutrients to the blood, but it's also going to secrete chemicals to help break down food. Now, the biggest thing is that we need a slow breakdown and a slow absorption. Sometimes we eat things um, and put things into our body. I'm not going to mention what they are, but you've probably experienced this, where they just fly through. Um, we're talking, you eat something, six hours, you're hitting the B room real quick. Um, that's an example of where there is really nothing to absorb, so the body will literally get rid of it. But there are certain foods that help take time to basically absorb and break down, and those are usually good foods for you. So that's a reason why it is so long. Um, and as that food moves through these intestines, especially the beginning part, we're going to get secretions from the pancreas and the liver, and that's really going to help this process out. So 10.4, we'll look into that in much greater detail. That's all I have for now. We'll see you guys later. Yago out.